Hello everyone, it's good to have you here again. Today we are going to be looking at an experiment. We are going to begin an experiment regarding application of fertilizers, artificial fertilizers for yams in sacks. For you to actually get good yield, whether as a commercial farmer, mainly as a commercial farm, farmer though, or even a backyard farmer, you need to really feed your bag. A lot of people choose to use organic stuff beautiful i do that too then also inorganic but today we are specifically going to look at the use of fertilizers npk fertilizers urea for yam in sack how do you apply fertilizers i have learned from people and i try to use that applying little by little little quantities part time over a couple of weeks so that you will not burn the crop. For that, for me, it's been very, very cumbersome. But I want to carry out an experiment today. Use the required quantity part time to really see will my crop really get damaged? If it will get damaged eventually, I will choose to continue the cumbersome way. But if it doesn't, it then means that we need to have a reorientation so that farming yam in sacks and applying fertilizers will be very, very easy for us. It promises to be an interesting one. I don't know what the outcome will be, so let's go into it all together. So guys, before we do the main application, I want us to go through something very, very vital. Now, this is urea fertilizer purely nitrogen, this urea. So you see it, it, it's white. Then this is NPK fertilizer. NPK, it contains urea, phosphorus and potassium. So this is NPK. Basically, this is the 20, 10, 10. 15, 15, 15 is also there. But this is good for yam. Then 15, 15, 15 mainly. That was commonly used for yam. Now, the question is, what is the quantity that should be used per bag or per sack, as it were? In this particular video, we are going to assume that one sack is equivalent to one heap of yam if you are planting in heat. Now, I did the research, I reviewed the literature, and I discovered that the amount you need per heap we can calculate it from the amount you use per hectare, about 300 to 500 kilogram, an average of 400 kilogram is what is required actually for one hectare. And one hectare approximately contains 10,000 heaps of yams. So if you do the mathematics, you will have an average of, let's say 30 gram to 50 gram per heap per time. So if you want to apply fertilizer per time, usually fertilizers are applied twice before you harvest. One will help in the vegetative stage, while the other will help in the tuber formation stage. But let us now bring this to family Yamisa because not much really has been done in terms of literature and documentation regarding yam in sand. It's a recent phenomenon, it's an evolving phenomenon. And that also shows that those in the agro sector, I mean expert, I'm not really an expert, in, I'm just a passionate farmer. Those that are expert, the professors and those in faculties of agriculture, I want to plead that we should beam our searchlight to doing more work regarding yam in sack and some other tuber crop in sack because that will help the food security issue in the future. So now, if I extrapolate what is happening in the heap to the sack, it means that I will need about 30 to 50 gram of fertilizer, MPK fertilizer, for one bag. Now, that 30 gram is what we want to measure, or that 50 gram is what we want to measure, so that we will see. But I decided to do some calibration. These are spoons. This is a tablespoon and this is half a tablespoon 
if you let's bring the camera closer so that they will see the calibration this is the tablespoon one this is one tablespoon and this is half a tablespoon now from my own assessment i realized that one tablespoon and half a table so one and a half tablespoon will definitely give me the 50 gram of mpk now this is a digital um, uh, scale so let's go right into it so we are going to start the measurement now let's just focus on what we have here now this is the mpk oh uh, this is my digital weighing scale so it's it's in in zero now but this is the container i want to use to assess the quantity so that you see all right so of course i'll take it back to i'll calibrate it so i'll take it to zero anything i put in here now will be what we reflect here so this is a tablespoon okay so this is one tablespoon and this is another half so approximately this is just like 51 gram but i can approximate it to be 50 grams so this is 50 gram now meaning this is the quantity that you require per hip ideally if we are going to use the calculation that we have done so the thing is this some i have learned that instead of just pouring this in the sack you can use this for a couple of weeks that is every week for maybe like four weeks because putting this whole thing inside the bag will cause the might cause the um, plant to to die off that's that was someone's experience and i have been following that method of having to use some granules today is just experimental so the experiment might end up supporting that hypothesis but if it doesn't support it then it means that it's a bit of a win-win situation for us why because instead of me coming every week to apply this i can just pour this somewhere inside the sack and if it doesn't kill the sack the the crop it's a plus for me but from my experience what i've realized that mpk doesn't really do much damage like that but i think it is usually the urea that's why i also have urea i will also still try urea the same quantity i will also try with urea and let's see it's experimental whatever we see we we'll eventually take it's a pilot study we are hoping that people will take it up from here as i'm trying to validate someone else stuff somebody should actually work on what i'm doing today and try and see if it's really the correct thing so we are going to move over to the application now but before then let us also do that of the uh, urea so guys we are going to look at urea also let me give you a shocker all right now i want you to know that this same volume of mpk we want to measure it here for urea you see what is going to happen so the same one teaspoon okay a few a few grays fell out let me just put them back so that i don't look as if i'm cheating urea all right so this is one and a half one teaspoon weighed 34 kg for mpk but it's weighing 20 kg i mean sorry 20 gram now you see that for urea is weighing approximately 30 grams this to 31 gram let's just run it up to 30 gram remember that this same amount of mpk weighed the same volume of mpk weighed 50 gram approximately but for urea it is weighing about 30 gram so i want you to know that mpk actually weighs more the same volume of mpk weighs more than the same volume of urea but i'm still going to take the same volume for urea because this is concentrated urea now i'm going to do apply mpk in some yam 
and apply um, urea in Soyam. After some time, let's say about seven to ten days, we'll come back and see what has happened to them if they survived or they died. All right, so let's go to the application. Guys, we want to apply now. These yams I planted about two months ago, so they are still in the vegetative stage. So I want to now apply this. Like what? So I've chosen mainly these four. Let's take note of this one. You see the vines are like this. These four bags, one, two, three, four. I want to just use these four bags for MPK. Then I will choose these other two bags this way. These other two bags this way. Following this, take note of it because we're still going to come back so that we'll review. Now this is the 50 gram. I want us to uh, look at the way I'm going to apply. What I'm going to just do, you have two options. This is that you just poke a, a hole and pour the stuff in. If you want to put it in 3.5, if you want to put it in 1.5. So I'll just put a little here. The most important thing, you are applying the 50 gram all at the same time. I'll put a little here and I'll put a little here. So that's what I'm just going to do with the rain is going to sink it. I'm not worried of it being washed off because everything is contained inside the sack. All right. So, you know, we have already calibrated one and a half teaspoon is the 50 gram. So I'll still apply here. I'll apply here. Here, yeah. then this one. So you can see that we are putting the whole 50 gram at the same time. Unlike what we have been taught before, that we can apply in little quantities, that still stands until we see that this one will be better. All right. So one, two, three, and that's the fourth one. Okay, so we have applied our MPK in these four sacks. Let's take note of the four sacks. The, the four sacks, they are following this stick, so it makes it very, very easy. Now we're going to apply our MPK, I mean our urea now, for this and for this as following. So take note of the the leaves because that's what we are going to use to ascertain whether our uh, fertilizer they are destroying or helping so in another one we will come back but before we go let us apply our urea remember the same amount of urea of course it is now 30 gram basically let me get the urea and i will apply so we want to apply the urea now the same quantity but of course it's going to be 30 gram it's still the same thing because i think it is the exothermic reaction the heat that comes out from urea that actually does the damage to the roots that causes the burning but of course since we now know the actual amount that we need let us see is it that people are putting it excess that's why their crops are being destroyed but let us just see with this. That's the whole essence of this experiment. Now, I want to really know what you think, what your thoughts are, how you've been able to, you know, overcome that problem. That's why we're carrying out this experiment. All right, so this is a, a teaspoon. We just put little here, little here, and a little there. Now, of course, let's add this to it. Oh. Even me, I'm worried. I hope my yam will not die. <laughs> All right. Okay. It's experimental. That's why we are here. So. Okay. So, we'll put here. Take this one. I'll take here. And we'll, we'll put here. So. This I, I I will not really bother to. You can cover with soil if you want to, but at least 
I am very very sure now that it is not going to be washed out so once the rain comes or we water our stuff they will start getting the nutrients so in another one week we are going to come back to review what we have done will they die or will they survive so let's wait till then see you one week so guys we are here now to assess the result of the experiment we started over one week ago actually this is day nine so let us go and see what has become of the crops the yams that we applied those fertilizers let's go all right i think we'll start with these four look at the four that we applied npk so these are the four Let's zoom closely. You can still see the remnants of the NPK. You can see the granules. These are some of the granules. So we applied the whole 50 gram, as we have said. These are some of the remnants. What has dissolved most of them, and including that one. So what we are going to look at now is this, the leaves. They are looking all green. Even new ones have started forming. So you can see that they did not really die. They did not dry out. So um, what's the conclusion? The conclusion is that we can actually apply the 50 gram all at once and nothing will happen to our crop. Before now, I used to just apply in grains. But now I think I will have everything and start doing this. Now that my experiment has confirmed, this is the NPK. Now let's also look at the urea. This is the urea. Of course, I cannot even find any of them again, not even the remnants, because urea dissolves very, very fast in water. So this is one and the other one. You can see that they are even forming fresh new leaves. It means that they survived. They did not uh, actually die. So I want to know your thoughts. How have you been applying your NPKs, your urea, your inorganic fertilizers? So I have confirmed now that we can actually apply all the quantity at the same time or at once. I can also apply maybe in another two months during the tuber formation period. I can also apply and that will be all for the season. So we have learned in this particular experiment we have calibrated how we can actually apply the amount of fertilizer we should apply per sack i don't think um, it has really really been determined before now so i've extrapolated what we do in heap and i've done it for the sack and it came out very very well this is inorganic in subsequent experiments stay with us we are going to be talking about how to apply even organic fertilizer. There are different ways to apply that. When you stay with us, you are going to learn more about that. I want you to even try this. I want to have your own thoughts about this. Experiment. Give feedback to us how yours turned out. Thanks and God bless. <laughs>